right, ready for suction. And septo, please. Septo. And then release. Oh, just talking to the team here. You're doing great. We're just getting started off with the procedure. Everything's looking perfect so far. Okay, let me see. Um, you trotted for just a second. Mm -hmm. Just want to show something here. So a lot of people do this where they'll put the capsulotomy on the surface of the eye, but really what you can see here, let me just wash this off for a second, right below is that you have this really nice, perfectly centered capsulotomy. In this particular case, we're using a light adjustable lens. One thing with this particular lens is that it does require a slightly larger incision to implant the intraocular lens, and sometimes when you're closing up, that can lead to a little chamber instability, and when you don't have that lens optic overlap, there's a little more chance, because this is a three-piece lens, that that lens will bulge forward a little bit, just vault a little more anteriorly, and that can just make your end of the procedure a little more of a struggle. I'll take the chopper. Thank you. So with this, you can still get a little bit of that chamber shallowing, but that lens is held back much better. And again, cortex removal is really straightforward with a uh, capsulotomy with the Zepto system. The strength of the capsulotomy is actually stronger than a manual one, which also is stronger than a femtosecond created one. And this has been shown in, in several studies now. Whoa. But you see just how easy the cortex is to strip. You don't have to go back after it again. It's not stuck to the undersurface of your capsulotomy, like you might see with femtosecond technology. And because in this particular case, we may be treating some of the peripheral part of the lens, we just do a little cleanup of the undersurface of the anterior capsule rexus peripherally, which once again, you can see is very simple to do with an automated capsulotomy. It's very straightforward.
And then I'll take the new keratoma when you have a moment. Perfect. So, as I mentioned, we're just going to enlarge this uh, yeah, a lot, or, uh, keratome incision here. Just go just a little bit, slightly larger than a 275. And we have a controlled release right into the capsule bag. And even though it's a three-piece lens, we've got a slightly bigger incision. You can see slight egress around the moon. You're not getting as much vaulting of that lens. You can see again the iris wants to prolapse a little bit because the wound is not well sealed yet but again that lens stayed put because of that overlap. A little more BSS. Almost done here. You might feel a little pressure for a moment. And let me go with the mic hole. Okay. And once again, you can see the optic is completely covered and it's staying put, which is just one excellent feature of having that automated capsulotomy. You're just gonna feel a little pressure in the corner of the eye here. done. You did fantastic.